Now, the 2HU12S Redux is probably one of the best budget CPU coolers that you can buy today. However, lack of installation guides on YouTube might make you think that it's hard to install, but it's actually completely the opposite. In this video, I am going to show you how to install it on Intel sockets. If you have an AMD socket, then you should probably watch another video. The first step is flipping your motherboard upside down and putting it on an anti-static surface. I usually put it on my motherboard box. It takes a black metal piece which is included with the cooler and place it into the four holes around the CPU socket. Also bear in mind that this metal piece only goes one way. So if you try to put it the other way, the wrong way, it will not fit in because that screw is going to stop you. After making sure that the black metal piece is in its place, flips the motherboard the other way once again and holds the black metal piece with one of your fingers so it doesn't fall down. Once you flip it, take the four plastic pieces that are included with your CPU cooler and place them on the screws around your CPU socket on your motherboard. So make sure all the screws have those plastic pieces on them as then check your CPU cooler box. In the box you'll find two metal pieces that are for the Intel socket. Make sure the screw like things on them is pointing upwards and place it on the screws that we've installed earlier. If you install these pieces correctly then they're gonna look like this as you can see in the video. And now, check the Noctua's box and you'll find four metal hand screws looking just like this. Screw them onto the all four corners of the metal pieces just like you see here. You don't necessarily need a screwdriver here because these screws are called hand screws for a reason, but if you want, you can use one. Make sure you tighten the screws but do not tighten them too much. Now, here comes the fun part. Take out your CPU cooler from its box. Then so unclip these two metal clips that hold the fan to the radiator. Once you do everything that you can see in this video, your fan and the radiator should look like this. Noctu NHU12S Redux comes with its own pre-applied thermal paste so you don't have to apply any more. Now take the radiator and place it on your CPU just like you can see here. Once you make sure that the radiator is in its place on the CPU, you can take a screwdriver and start screwing those screws in. But do not screw one of them all the way in, then go for the other one. Instead, screw one of them a little and then go for the other one, screw that one a little and then go for the first ones that you were screwing. Keep doing this until you feel both two screws are at about 95% tightness. Make sure you don't screw them very tight. As you can see in the video, the Redux text is facing to the RAM sticks, but it should face the opposite way. However, it doesn't really affect the performance, so you shouldn't really worry about it. Next, you should take the Noctua fan and clip it to the radiator using those metal clips, as you can see in the video. Make sure that the cage part of the Noctua fan is facing to the radiator and not the opposite direction. Also for aesthetics, it's better that the Noctua logo is facing upwards. Now take the black fan cable and plug it into the CPU fan header of your motherboard. Also keep in mind that the fan header location might be different on different motherboards. And that's pretty much it! Your Noctua NHU12S Redux is successfully installed on your CPU and look very cool doing its job. If you liked this video and found it helpful, then please leave a like and subscribe to my channel for more content. And if you didn't like it, then leave a dislike and leave a feedback so I know what I can improve next time. That's it for this video and I'll see you guys in the next one.